flight, Bart and Howie will experiment. And here comes the flight crew now. Commander Dick Sobey, followed by Mission Specialist uh, G. Russell, Ron McNair, and uh, Pilot Mike Smith, followed by Krista Masala, Teacher in Space, and, uh, Ellison Onizuka, and Payload Specialist Greg Jarvis. Big smiles today. Confidently getting into the van. They're going to look at that pad and uh, attempt a second try. Second, second try at launch today. It'll take a few minutes for the astronaut van to uh, get to the pad. The orbiter and the first crew member, Commander Dick Scobie, now uh, in the white room, taking off his jacket. Uh, along with uh, Mike Smith, who is the, uh, the pilot. Dick Scobie uh, became a military pilot and later a test pilot the hard way. The, uh, he enlisted in the Air Force in 1957 and was trained as a reciprocating engine mechanic. Uh, however, he went to night school during the time he was uh, down uh, at Kelly Air Force Base and earned two years of college credit, which helped lead to his selection as, uh, air, for the Airmen's Education and Commissioning Program. He graduated from the University of Arizona with a degree in aerospace engineering, received his commission in 1965 and his wings in 1966. Uh, he's completed a number of assignments for the Air Force, uh, including becoming an Air Force test pilot. He was the pilot of the 41C mission, which deployed the long duration exposure facility, which is still in orbit, and captured and repaired the Solar Maximum mission satellite and placed it in orbit where it is functioning better than ever. Mike Smith uh, putting on his egress harness, too. Uh, they're going to be going very fast today to get out of the cold and into the cabin. Uh, he was one of the, Mike Smith is one of the few rookies on board this flight. He's a graduate of the U.S. Naval Academy in Annapolis and received his Naval Aviator Wings in 1969. Uh, he had a two-year tour of duty in Vietnam and is a graduate of the Navy Test Pilot School where he also served as an instructor for 18 months. Altogether, he's flown about 28 different types of civilian and military aircraft, logging over 4,300 hours. He's uh, taken on a number of tasks while he's been in the astronaut corps. Uh, he served as commander in the Shuttle Avionics Integration Laboratory in Houston, which tests all of the instrumentation and computers and software for the shuttle. He also was deputy chief of aircraft operations and technical assistant to the director of flight operations, George Abbey. He also served in the astronaut office development and test group. After the scrub yesterday, the uh, crew went back to the uh, crew quarters where they relaxed for a while and were able to have dinner with their uh, spouses uh, in the crew quarters dining room. But they had to be in bed by about 7 o'clock so they could be up and on their way this morning. Mike Smith shaking hands with the closeout crew, which has assisted him in, uh, in getting ready. Uh, they take a look uh, at his feet and, and wipe those out to make sure he's not carrying any uh, debris into the cabin with him. This is shuttle launch control at one hour, 58 minutes, 57 seconds and counting. And Dr. Judy Resnick. Uh, who was mission specialist for the SP-41D mission on her first flight, is in the white room now preparing to put on her egress harness and get ready for her entrance into the orbiter. On her first flight, three satellites were deployed, and she was responsible for um, operating the remote manipulator arm on that particular flight. She's also responsible for operating the arm for placing the Spartan Halley spacecraft in orbit and then recovering it later in flight. That will be put in orbit uh, over the side of, on the second day. The orbiter will move about five miles away 
and allow it to function and look at uh, Halley's Comet for 40 hours and then go back and pick it up and bring it back to Earth. Her undergraduate degree was from uh, Carnegie Mellon University and she earned her PhD in electrical engineering from the University of Maryland. Prior to joining NASA in 1978 uh, as a mission specialist, uh, Judy Resnick worked as a senior systems engineer in product development for the Xerox Corporation in California. She's a native of Akron, Ohio, and also a classical pianist and enjoys flying and bicycling in her spare time. Ellison Anazuka, uh, also in the white room, actually everybody's going to be in there shortly uh, as they uh, get ready. Uh, the uh, teacher observer, uh, Krista McAuliffe, has been handed an apple by the uh, closeout crew. Ellison Anazuka now uh, uh, getting his egress harness on. Uh, the native of Hawaii is a graduate of uh, Kona Waiina High School and earned both a Bachelor and Master of Science degree in Aerospace Engineering from the University of Colorado. After receiving his commission in the Air Force, he served as a flight test engineer and participated in the flight programs and system safety engineering for a wide variety of aircraft. He graduated from the Air Force Test Pilot School and then served on the staff. Anazuka is one of the astronauts known as the Cape Crusaders who were assigned to KSC for a period of time of several launches and work with the orbiter test and checkout teams and the launch support crews. Uh, the uh, astronaut support person on board, uh, our sonny Billy Bob Carter, is uh, also one of the Cape Crusaders uh, at the present time. Uh, between the orbiter, uh, the firing room here at Kennedy Space Center, and Houston. The booster engine gimbal now underway. T minus 15 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. We have main engine start. 4, 3, 2, 1, and liftoff. Liftoff of the 25th Space Shuttle mission, and it has cleared the tower. Good roll, Challenger. Good roll program confirmed. T 
Challenger now heading down range. Engines beginning throttling down now at 94%. Normal throttle uh, for most of the flight, 104%. We'll throttle down to 65% uh, shortly. Engines at 65%, three engines uh, running normally, three good fuel cells, three good APUs. Velocity, 2,257 feet per second. Altitude, 4.3 nautical miles. Downrange distance, three nautical miles. Engines throttling up, three engines now at 104%. Challenger, go and throttle up. Challenger, go and throttle up. Fifteen seconds. Velocity twenty nine hundred feet per second. Altitude nine nautical miles. Downrange distance seven nautical miles. here looking very carefully at the situation. Obviously a major malfunction. We have no downlink. from the flight dynamics officer that the vehicle has exploded. Flight director confirms that. We are uh, looking at uh, checking with the recovery forces to see uh, what can be done at this point. Contingency procedures are in effect. Uh, information available. Again, to repeat, uh, we have a report uh, relayed to, through the flight dynamics officer that the vehicle has exploded. We are now looking at uh, all the contingency operations and awaiting uh, word from any recovery uh, forces in the downrange field.